Hey guys, Multi Tech Arcade here, and today we are going to be doing the history of IMAX. So here in August twenty, uh, in August fifteenth, nineteen ninety eight, the IMAX G three, which is here, was released. It had a fifteen inch CRT, although I am led to believe that it was only thirteen point five inches of it was actually was actually used to display what was on it. It was a CRT display. It, you could get it in a f 4 gigabytes all the way up to a measly 60 gigabytes of hard disk drive space. And the Mac OS it supported was 8.1 all the way up to 10.0. The production was stopped in March 2003. There were also very, there were many, there is more than one variant of this where this turquoise panel, or you could get it in many other colours was clear and you could see more of the insides and wires this had apple had invented the mouse i think it well i might not have been apple but i think it was apple that invented the mouse and they were the first people to use it on their computers and it had been a huge hit and so they tried to give it a new shape and nice shape but they didn't do it very well with this puck mouse which no one really liked the keyboard was still was very popular. Well, no more popular than the other keyboard. It was the keyboard, but the puck mouse. Many people made f things to fit onto it, so it would be nicer. So let's move on to the iMac G4, which followed it on January seventh, two thousand and two. You could get it in a fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, or twenty-inch LCD display. It was it, as you can see, the display was much thinner than the iMac G3. This was really the first proper sort of I or I wouldn't even say proper. But um so yeah. Here down here you have your disk drive. Um you can get it in a forty gigabyte up to a hundred and sixty gigabyte hard disk drive. Um and it would support Mac Mac OS nine point two all the way up to ten to OS X. 10.3 and production was stopped in July 2004. So here you can see that it's it's a completely different design with a sort of sphere like base to it and metal hinges and stuff that go up to the flat panel screen that I think is quite good looking. And so here is a more familiar sort of design for the iMac. This was the iMac G5, which was released in August 31st, 2004. You could get it in a 17 or 20 inch LCD display, a 40 gigabyte all the way up to 500 gigabytes, which is sounding better, hard disk drive. Um, it would support a Mac, Mac OS X 10.3 all the way up to 10.7, which is OS X Lion. Uh, the production was then stopped in March 2004. And six, my notes were are, are messy. Um, the next one is well. Let's just go over it. Here, I think it's the that's really I think that's the Apple Mighty Mouse, which or it's the one that no, it's the one before the Mighty Mouse. I don't remember the name, silly me. Um, here we have the Apple keyboard. I am a fan of these old keyboards. I've only tried them once, but it was really nice to type on, and I like the older fatter keys because make a nicer sound um so it's much more familiar design so let's get on to the first intel um imac where they swapped to the intel it looks much the same as the imac g5 as you can see but instead of it having all the old chips and stuff inside they switched to intel so i think it's intel xeon processors if that's how you say it xeon so it might be that. I'm not sure. So this was released on January tenth, two thousand and eight. You could get, you could then get it in a seventeen inch, twenty or twenty four inch LCD display, forty, uh, silly me, eighty gigabyte to seven hundred and fifty gigabyte hard disk drive, which uh, I think my laptop was seven hundred fifty gigabyte, so that would do. Um, a Mac OS would go up to OS X ten point four and up to the current. But I don't think it is to the current. I do. I think it's up to Mountain Lion. I might be wrong, but 
It might be all the way up to Mavericks, but I'm not sure. I doubt it would be able to run Yosemite. And it produ- production was stopped in August 2007. And this is the this is a design you've pro- probably recognize. And this is the for Intel Mac al- aluminium, or if you're American, aluminium. In it was released in August on August seventh, two thousand and seven. Twenty. This was a twenty-inch display or a twenty-four-inch LCD. You get it in a two hundred fifty gigabyte all the way up to one terabyte of hard disk drive storage, and it would support Mac OS ten point four and up. Production was stopped in October two thousand nine. So here you can see is that the screen outside the screen is it's all glass around here. It's all black, similar to iPads and stuff. Um, and iPhones and stuff, which I think I think they might have done that so it suits the iPhone, which came out in two thousand and seven, around that time. So I think they've done it to suit the iPhone. And so here it's aluminium or aluminium, and you've got an Apple logo here, which is glass. And so let's move on to the this next one. This is it looks um, it looks exactly the same as the aluminium one except this one is a unibody which effectively just all means is that you can't upgrade it and so this definitely is the mighty mouse here it's it is and here you could get it it was released on october 20th 2009 you could get it in a 21.5 inch or 24 inch led lcd display a 500 gigabyte all the way up to two terabytes of hard disk drive or two or a two hundred and fifty six gigabyte SSD, which would be much faster than the hard hard regular hard drives. Um, it, 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 this would support Mac OS ten point six and up. I th- I thought that the old one was like ten point eight. No, nope, so I'm got confused there. Um, and they stopped this, so it was no longer in October two thousand and twelve. Although these are still very common, and I think my friend has one. Um, so here you have the old Apple keyboard, which I quite like. It still has the USBs on the sides, except that this is the wired one. It's got it's still got USB on the side. Oh, what are we talking about? The, the only the wired ones have it. So got USB on the side, which the Mighty Mouse could plug into. So you weren't having to have two cables; you just have one, effectively one continuous cable. And so you have your Mighty Mouse coming out of the keyboard, and so you. Yes, and so on this one, you have your disk drive on the side, which is the same as the aluminium one. And here is, this is the display, really. It's the same, except the difference, I think. So you see, right, if you look around the edges, on this one, there's a sm- there's like a bezel on the edge, oh, which is like that aluminium bezel, which I think makes it, I, don't th- I prefer the other one. This is the latest version, which is much thinner. It was released on November tw- They They were released in two different sections. November 2012 all the way to January 2013. So, a uh, sort of gap between them. In November 2012, they released the 21.5 inch LED LCD version, which is the one you see here. And here is the 27-inch LED LCD model. And so you, th- there are even more storage versions you can get for this one. You can get a uh, one terabyte up to three terabytes of hard disk drive of hard disk drive storage, one terabyte to three terabyte Fusion Drive, which is ap- which Apple makes themselves, or or 256 gigabytes to one terabyte flash storage which is really fast and the it would support mac os os x 10.8 and up which is mountain lion <laughs> yeah mount, which is mountain lion and up current and oops still around it's the current model and um, hopefully they're going to bring out with a new one this year but maybe not because twin it's 2009 2012 so, uh, 2007, 2009. So, we might not be getting one this year, but maybe next year. Maybe this year. We don't know. So, yeah, guys, I think that's it. I've not 
don't remember because I've made the PowerPoint yesterday and I have a really bad memory. So, yeah. So, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to all of my videos so you can catch future videos and subscribe to my other channel, which is Multi Gamer Arcade. And so, thanks for watching. And if you're wondering, that last video cut off because I was silly and forgot that there was no extra slide. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next in the next video. Bye!